we begin with a bizarre twist in the race for president. Donald Trump accused of once pretending to be his own media spokesperson during a phone interview. The voice describing Trump's love life and fortune. Trump denying that's him on tape, but tonight you be the judge. At the same time, he is fiercely standing by his decision not to release his taxes until an audit is completed. Snapping when asked about his taxes, saying, quote, it's none of your business. ABC's John Carl starts us off tonight. Today, a voice from the past is coming back to haunt Donald Trump, and it sounds a heck of a lot like his own voice. What's your name again? John Miller. It's a tape recording of a 1991 interview conducted by a People magazine reporter with somebody identifying himself as John Miller, supposedly a spokesman for Donald Trump. There's somebody that knows, and I think somebody that he trusts and likes. But the reporter soon became suspicious John Miller was actually Trump himself, bragging about his own exploits with women. He's somebody that has a lot of options, and frankly, uh, you know, he gets called by everybody. He gets called by everybody in the book in terms of women. The supposed spokesman described how Trump was living with Marla Maples, but not ready to settle down. He didn't want to make a commitment. He really thought it was too soon. He's living with Marla, and he's got three other girlfriends. He even bragged that superstars like Madonna wanted to date Trump. Well, she called and wanted to go out with him, that I can tell you. The Washington Post reports Trump has previously acknowledged using a fake name. But today, the billionaire angrily denied it's him on that tape. It doesn't sound like me on the phone, I will tell you that, and it was not me on the phone. It's not just the tape that has Trump on the defensive today. He's also pushing back on the idea that voters are entitled to see his tax returns, which he says are now being audited by the IRS. Do you believe voters have a right to see your tax returns before they make a final decision? I don't think they do, but I, I do say this. Uh, I will really gladly give them. They're not going to learn anything, but it's under routine audit. But four years ago, Trump said then-Republican nominee Mitt Romney should release his returns. Mitt has to get those tax returns out. One of the things Trump's returns will reveal, how much he pays in taxes. I fight very hard to pay as little tax as possible. What is your tax rate? Uh, it's none of your business. You'll see it when I release. And John Carl joins us now from Washington. John, there's some other news tonight on Trump's finances and the millions of dollars he's loaned his campaign. Trump today revealed that he has loaned $50 million to his campaign. Now, Tom, there's been speculation that he would later raise money to pay himself back. But today, Trump issued a statement saying he has absolutely no intention of doing that, that that money was, quote, a contribution made in order to make America great again. Tom.